when it comes to technology, everyone knows you can't beat the military. But some of their weapons are weird alongside being deadly, and they're definitely something everyone should see. From jumping into the air before detonating to mini nuclear rockets. If you're a fan of excellent technology that can blow the enemy to smithereens, then you're in the right place. We're going to show you 12 weird but genius military weapons. Let's get started. Number 12. The S-Mine. If you think mines are deadly, then this military gadget will leave you even more terrified of its power. The German military gadget, whose name stands for Spring Mine, was a mine that was notorious among Allied forces for its capacity to cause damage. At its basic, it's a simple mine that reacts when stepped on and causes an explosion. But this one goes a step further, and with its spring mechanism, it actually jumps up to 5 feet in the air before exploding. And the explosion is absolutely deadly, spreading 360 steel barrels going over 2200 miles per hour. This has the power to utterly devastate everything in a 100 meter radius. Yikes. This deadly mechanism earned this mine a nickname too, Frog Mine on the Eastern Front and Bouncing Betty on the Western Front. Number 11. British Anti-Tank Sticky Grenade. If tanks with their unbreakable armor seem undominable to you, then this gadget will surely change your mind. With a lollipop-like shape, it looks rather innocuous, but don't be fooled by its looks, because this portable military gadget can literally break through tank armor. This grenade is meant to be carried by soldiers and thrown onto a tank, with its adhesive cloth covering keeping it glued to the tank's body. After that, it would cause a powerful explosion and leave a hole in the tank's armor. This gadget, whilst being effective, was also fairly risky to use since soldiers had to get pretty close to the tank before they could stick this on there. However, if you managed that successfully, then you sure have rendered the tank far more vulnerable than it was before. Number 10. Goliath Tracked Mine While at first look, this German machine, it may look like a mini tank shaped ride for entertainment. Don't let the looks deceive you, since this thing can be deadlier than even a full sized tank. With a weight of about 370 kilograms and a length of just under 5 feet and width under 3 feet, this machine was very suitable to move with stealth anywhere it was sent, and it could withstand plenty of fire too with its 5mm armor. This vehicle was controlled with a control panel that was linked to it with a 2,100 foot cable. The operator could then direct this little thing to its intended target, very inconspicuously too at that given its size and then cause utter devastation since this entire thing just explodes with up to 60 kilograms of explosives. It's essentially a kamikaze on wheels, except that it doesn't need a pilot sacrificing his life for it. This vehicle came in two variants, one electrically powered and one petrol powered, and it came to be known as beetle tanks by the allies. Number 9. The Davy Crockett Codename M388, this weapon was a nuclear bomb that you could almost carry around. Being the smallest atomic weapon in history, at 125 pounds, it was 80 times smaller than the one dropped on Hiroshima. This weapon could be fired and propelled into the air and travel up to 4 kilometers before landing on the ground, and then obliterating anything in a 400 meter radius of the explosion, and even at 500 meter radius, the effects of radiation would be felt. Due to the danger of the weapon, not to the enemy, but to the very soldiers using this weapon, it was retired and never made its way into any future use. Number 8. Little David This American weapon is the only little in its name, since it's the holder of the world record for the largest caliber artillery piece at a whopping 914 millimeters. With a 7 meter long barrel, this thing weighed a massive 36 tons. Yikes! It was so massive that its shell was so gigantic that it was taller than an average adult male with a heft of 3,650 pounds, with half of that weight of explosives. While potentially a truly devastating weapon, it actually never found any wartime use, since it was too difficult to use, with a single fire requiring 12 hours of labor to prepare it, and it only fired as far as 8.4 kilometers. Number 7. Yokosuka MXY7 OHKA Speaking of extreme weapons, we cannot ignore this one, a glider that was used by kamikazes. While it had no takeoff or landing mechanism, it was merely a glider, its ability to cause damage was incredibly deadly. It could carry explosives up to 1,200 kilograms, and to just imagine the amount of damage that can cause, these gliders, if managed to successfully reach American aircraft destroyers, could render damage beyond use, causing the enemy incredible damage. The way it would function was just as fanatical as the Japanese war machine. 
a larger aircraft would carry it up into the air and drop it at a high altitude. And from there, the pilot inside would activate a rocket and propel this thing up to 1100 kilometers per hour, which for reference is measurably faster than a modern Boeing 747. And he would guide it to the target and simply ram into it and causing a massive blast with its truckload of explosives. Now that's one extreme war gadget you want to watch out for. Number six, Fugo Balloon Bomb. If the Japanese war fanaticism needed another example, this would surely be a good one, because they even managed to turn something as innocuous as balloons into weapons of destruction. This bomb was used against the US and Canada and kept them surprised in the beginning, since the radars wouldn't pick up hot air balloons. With a timer of 72 hours, these balloons would explode once their timer went off, as soon as they reached the North America from their home base in Japan. And this was a rather well-engineered machine at that, with mechanisms to keep it tight steady, which was achieved by altitude sensors that would release air if it went too high, or drop sandbags if it went too low. And this was actually the first intercontinental weapon. Who knew? The Japanese dropped around 9,300 such balloons over the course of the war. Number 5. Iron Curtain if that name reminds you of the Cold War era political separation, then you'd be wrong. Because this military gadget is quite literally an iron curtain, with many military gadgets can be away. A countermeasure equipment, the Iron Curtain is an active protection system, APS, designed by Artis, an American technology development and manufacturing firm. The job of this armored vehicle is to detect and repel RPGs or other such threatening entities from reaching their targets. Using its radar to detect threatening explosives, its optical sensor tracks the target within one centimeter of accuracy, and then neutralizes the threat by deflagrating it, which means that it renders the explosive useless by not letting it detonate, which would cause an explosion, but rather than letting it burn out, much like a matchstick would. Number 4. Project Thor If any military project came near science fiction level, it's this one. Envisioned by Jerry Pornell in the 1950s, who was a Boeing operations researcher, came up with the idea of using super fast and super dense projectiles fired not from Earth or at any unreasonable heights, but from suborbital space. These projectiles would reach speeds that could cross the sound barrier, and with construction from dense materials such as tungsten, weighing up to 2,000 pounds, with 20 feet in length. At those speeds, this could effectively destroy anything in its path and cause utter obliteration with anything it hit penetrating hundreds of feet into the Earth's crust, causing destruction comparable to nuclear blasts without the radiation fallout. But this never saw the light of day, since its cost would be too much, with each rod costing $600,000, therefore incurring enormous costs to get enough of these into space to be useful. Number 3. Phaser A personal halting and stimulation response rifle was designed as a non-lethal weapon for law enforcement to use under hostile situations. While in the past laser weapons had blinded the targets, had been tested, but were banned by the UN in 1995, a ban which was only accepted by the US in 2009, this weapon is still not prohibited despite having a temporarily blinding effect. This rifle has two wavelength lasers that can blind the target temporarily, using a rangefinder to make sure the intensity isn't too much, and it renders the enemy disoriented enough to not be any more threatening. Number 2. Smart Bullet this .68 caliber bullet is 4 inches long, with small fins making it resemble a dart. It has special microsensors to measure its acceleration and deceleration, and can communicate with its user as well as on the fly. It's able to speed up or slow down and even turn. How cool is that? This bullet is fired by aiming a laser at the target. Then the bullet launches itself, correcting its path even under strong winds. This would also mean that it can be shot around corners so soldiers can remain in safety and achieve their target from there too. Number 1. Door Cannon A World War II era weapon by the Nazis, this was what you could call a super weapon. Weighing a whopping 2.7 million pounds, it could fire cannons that weighed up to 14,000 pounds, and its range was up to 90 miles. This was the world's largest gun, incredibly heavy and complicated, and today the largest door ensemble resides in the Military History Museum Dresden. All right. Comment below which of these military weapons you found the weirdest. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TechJoint, and we'll see you in the next one.